Like my mom's, I. She's got like she she'll just make statements into this world that are clearly answers to some sort of cosmic interview <laughs> that's been going on since I've been able to form memories. That's the only way I can explain statements. Like you might have somebody in your life, you know that they're in a room by themselves. Nobody's asked them anything and they're not talking to you, but then you'll just hear something like, well, that's why they can't make popcorn on the space station. You're like, That's not for me to know. That's not for me to know. You tell that one to the ghosts. <laughs> that trip that they were visiting me, it was a Saturday afternoon. We're all in my apartment. We're all sitting around drinking coffee, ignoring each other the way it should be. Yeah. Lack of conversation doesn't mean lack of love. Just let me look at you. And from what my mother says in that absolute silent moment, I can only reverse engineer what this voice may have asked. And the best thing I can put together, the best question, is that this voice just popped up and said, hey, Deb, because my mom's name is Deb, because those are the names you get in the Midwest. Single syllable, possibly a verb. My parents' names are Pat and Deb. That has to have been a line dance at one point. And Pat and Deb. Pat, Pat, Deb. Pat, Pat, Deb. Sidestep Deb. Pat, Pat. You know, come on. My neighbor's names growing up were Chuck and Mert. That's clearly a fly fishing technique. Chuck it. Mert it back. Mert it. Question. Hey, Deb, how do you prefer to have postage delivered to your home? That's a real weird question. But it's the only one that makes sense. Because in the dead silence of that Saturday, my mother set down her coffee and just said, I'll tell you one thing, which right there. That's not how you start. That's a retort. It also means you're about to hear several things. <laughs> Absolute silence. I'll tell you one thing, I would never have a mail slot in my door, only a mailbox. <laughs> Fucking okay. The family said nothing. <laughs> but the voice clearly wasn't satisfied with that answer as to follow up like, well, why is that, Deb? Explain yourself. Because <laughs> then my mom stood up and said, because if you have a mail slot in your door, somebody could come by and put snakes in it. She's not wrong. <laughs> but I'm just sitting there looking at her like, this is the woman you crave acceptance from. <laughs> Maybe you gotta reassess what you want out of this relationship. <laughs>